Mentor.com and thanks for joining me today. So a couple weeks ago, I watched a turkey vulture turn into a bald eagle. I watched the entire process unfold in front of my eyes. Before I share this story with you, which is a story about details, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. So in case you didn't know, the key to distinguishing a turkey vulture from a bald eagle in flight is their flight pattern. So a bald eagle typically flies with its arms outstretched and about as flat as a board. Whereas a turkey vulture, they fly in a dihedral, right? And they kind of teeter <laughs> as they fly. Does that look familiar? Okay, keep that in the back of your mind as you listen to my story. So just a couple weeks ago, I was sitting on the bank of the river at about 7.30 in the morning. And right in front of me, eye level, this big black bird soars in with its wings in the dihedral and then lands in a farm field. Turkey vulture, right? Well, that's what I thought. But it was kind of strange because I'd never seen a turkey vulture fly low over the water before. But anyway, so then I watched it stand on the farm field for a little bit and then walk kind of boldly across this footbridge. And that also was kind of strange to me, just the way it was sort of <laughs> boldly strutting across the bridge. And then it stayed there for a little while and then it flew back toward me and then landed up in this giant cottonwood tree right across the river. And just as it was about to take hold of that branch, the sun lit up its entire body. And I noticed that all of a sudden its head and its tail transformed and turned white. And its bill got huge and yellow. <laughs> so somehow that turkey vulture had turned into a bald eagle. And just a couple minutes after that happened, another bald eagle joined that one up in the tree. So what's the deal? How did this happen? Well, just like any good magic trick, it all took place in the details. There were two moments that stood out as distinctly odd to me. The one of the turkey vulture flying, actually soaring low over the water, and the other was the way that it walked across the bridge. Now, because of the trick that the morning light can play on our eyes, colors not to be trusted that time of day. So my guess is, is that the eagle was holding its wings in the dihedral to adjust for the wind temperature as well as the, the, uh, the wind speed that time of day. Which is more likely that the eagle would actually have to adjust its wings in flight than we would see a turkey vulture flying low over the water. Now it's really important to pay attention to these details and these things that seem kind of odd or atypical when you're watching a bird because usually that's the thing that tips you off that something's going on and it might not be exactly what you think it is. Thanks for joining me today. It was wonderful having you here. And until next time, please get out there and help spread some bird love in the world.